right guys good morning and welcome back welcome back to the channel and this is a unique video because a lot of people ask me what do i do other than boating and go places i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys today uh, a regular ordinary saturday here if you guys saw uh this morning earlier i uh, took joel, joel had a football game this morning so i had to do that it was at 10 30 in the morning so now we're back and since everybody is gone only me and joel are home we're gonna go ahead uh, and change the oil. So it's gonna be your Ed's first time changing the oil. So, you know, I'm gonna teach him. You ready? You yes. ready? Yes. Oh, by the way, congratulations on the game. Great save. And you guys want, what was it, 29 to what? 12? No, it was 32 to 18. Oh, 32 to 18, damn. That's a, that's a big score, all right. So the good thing about the Jeep is that the actual, to open the, the hood? The hood is right here. Sorry, there you go. And then lift up there. And then we don't have hydraulic or springs. Hold it there. So, you know, Jeep still a little bit far behind. They use the old school stick. Uh, normally, uh, the big cars like my truck, they have a spring. And the actual hood opens up and it stands up by itself. So, yeah, this is a new, the new V6 of Jeep. But I'm going to tell you guys a secret about Jeep. Gas mileage is not that good. I think I'm getting like 15, 14 miles per gallon. But, you know. I like it though. Here we go to take off the dressing. This is the dressing, it's pretty easy. Ooh. Hold that for you. And this, I love to change the oil on the Jeep. You know why? Because it's super easy. First of all, the oil filter is right there. Really? It's right there. Most cars is on the bottom. So oh, when yeah. it's, it creates a mess. So this one is right there. And the good thing is once you take it out, it doesn't drip. Oh, that's it right there? That's it right there. Oh. So you have to go to my toolbox, grab the wrench. Okay, so, ready? Uh, we got the ranch right here. Yeah. We got the oil. This is the actual filter. Uh, see, it's, it goes it's like a cartridge. It goes inside the canister. So right now, what we're gonna do is uh, take out the canister. But let me show you what else we need. We need uh, a little rug, you know, because we are going to lay on the floor. And then we need the oil, uh, I guess, bucket or oil, oil catcher, catcher, whatever you want to call it. You know. Uh, so let me show you how it's done. Now, go ahead. You put it in. Is it spinning right way? Uh, actually, hold on. Let me get an extension so you don't get so close to the engine. Yeah, you don't want to hit your knuckles with the with the engine parts. Yeah, right now we're gonna use an extension so he don't hit his knuckles. Okay, put that put that out between the the socket and the ratchet. Okay, so there we go. Put in put it in. Make sure it goes all the way down. Is it, is it going the right way? Uh, yeah, righty, tidy, Lucy, lefty, Lucy. Uh, no, let's tighten it. What? Yeah, so all the way. Now, let me show you how to hold us. You put one hand here and one hand here because you don't want it to wobble like that. Go ahead. Come on, strong, my brother. Come on, nah. I feel like it's going the right way. Come on, no, it's the right way. There you go. See, it was going the right way. There you go. Uh oh. So far, so good. There you go. And when you get to the point that you, you feel it really loose, then you grab it by hand. Do you feel it really loose? Yeah, that's really Okay, now hold on. Okay, take out the ratchet. Well, the tool, take out the whole thing. There you go. Now, go ahead, touch it with your hand. Make sure it's, it's really loose. Okay, no, 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 the other way. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, is that cup has water in it? Huh? Does that cup have water in it? No. Okay, let me have it. <laughs> mm. Actually, this is convenient. Well, that. Now, go ahead. Grab that container. Wait. Just... Okay, keep keep spinning it out. Do I put it in here? Yeah, keep spinning it out. Wait. Keep going. No, the other way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Mm. It's out now. Try to do it and put it in there. Oh. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. You see that guys, how easy that was? That's what I like about Jeep. The way that they designed the oil uh, cartridge. Okay, now go get a napkin so you don't get dirty. And another thing, yeah. You know, I do have gloves, but this job is not really messy. So I'm not even using gloves. Grab the container from the top. Okay. Now wrap, wrap it twice so you don't get that dirty. Now pull the cartridge out. No, out, you gotta pull it. Like a man, boy, I said like a man. There you go. Put it in the container. Now, put the napkin in the container too. Now get the new cartridge. 
Oh, right here, right here. Are you in your cards right here? No, the other way, the other way. You sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Push it in there. Push it. Now stick it back in the hole. Push it back in the hole and put it back in. Oh, it leaked some a little bit. It leaked out some? Yeah. Okay, just keep going. Hand tightening. I wish it was that easy back in the days. Okay, get the ratchet with the socket. Now it's click it, click it. There you go. Now there you go. Twist it, baby. Twist it. Now I'm gonna okay. Keep going. You gotta feel it when it gets a little tight. There you go. Hello? Is it? Is it tight? Okay, now grab the ratchet on, on the top. Now okay. no on the top of that there. Now try to tighten a little bit. You don't have to kill it. A little more. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Uh, you don't really have to torque it because it has a big seal there. And you said oh, it dripped? Yeah, right there. Okay, here. I guess get the other napkin and clean it oh, and drip right here too. Go ahead, try to put the napkin on it so you can pick up the, the oil, oil spillage. It's only a little bit. I guess it was inside the, the, the canister there. Oh, it's burning a little bit. It's what? Oh, I think it was just dust. All right, so we got we got the top part done and then the another thing is here is the oil uh inlet or intake or whatever you want to call it so what you do is you take it out and the good thing is we were just in the jeep but we let the jeep sit for like 10 minutes so the oil right now is kind of warm so it's another thing if you're going to change the oil in your car make sure you turn the car off for like five six five six minutes let the let the engine uh, warm up so like that the oil um it's it's uh no actually it gets when the oil is cold it's thick and when the oil is hot or it's, it thins out so it's easier to drain out to the bottom now let's go to the bottom all right you're gonna do it we're gonna use comfort so grab the little rug the little rug you see them oil stains right there right you know what them oil stains are from windy days like this oh, I see it right there. in there put it put it as close as you can to the drainage part now we're gonna go in there all right now hold on uh go ahead here get the get the wrench i don't even i forgot what size i think it's size 13 but i don't remember exactly go in there size 13 i think is it 13 yeah is there is no plate what do you mean no plate okay all right hold on let me go another side all right guys so here we go this is the drain plug for the oil for the oil um the oil all right so go ahead you want to let, let me show you how to do it because this is the messy part this if we do it wrong we're gonna get dirty so this is what you do you twist it but at the same time you twist it you hold it in because the oil wants to push it out so you're there right you're kind of there holding it you're gonna feel it like it wants to come out there it goes uh oh, oh see the wind okay Oh, so I'm going right here. Yeah, see, now we're just hoping and praying that no wind comes because this is the part where the wind really bothers. Um, and you see how easy the oil is coming out because it's warm. This is the messy part. This is what a lot of people don't like doing because if you do it wrong, imagine that all that oil all over your driveway well, is good. nasty, and then you gotta buy chemicals to clean it up and sand. It's gonna over drain. No, it's not. So. Uh, that's it. This is the hardest part of an oil change. There you go. See, that's the dangerous part. The windy part. I'm and you see, I got dirty mine. I got dirty, a little dirty. That usually I don't, but since I'm doing this video, I'm getting dirty. Oh, yeah. So, see how it was? You got it? It's pretty easy. Now, the rest is putting on the oil. Well, I gotta put the oil drain plug back in. Is that the bottom of the engine? Yeah, it's the bottom of the engine right here. And another good thing is that the Jeep is high. We don't have to jack nothing up. We fit perfectly under the Jeep. That's another good thing. Wow. I remember when I was younger, I had a lower rider car. And that was bad because I had to lift the car really high to get under there. Oh, yeah, probably. So, that's it right there. And... What you're really doing, I mean, you're not really saving a lot, a lot of money if you do it yourself, but you do it at your own convenience and uh, 
You probably save like 50% of the cost. Now you put the bolt here, right? Put the bolt back in. Be careful you don't drop it. Go ahead, put it in. It's slippery. Yeah, because you got full oil. But is this oil? How do you know it's bad? Because of the mouth. It has a lot. Plus, you see how dark it was. Okay, you got it? Okay, now we get the wrench. Don't we... put it too tight for next time. No, yeah. Now we get the wrench and tighten it. And then you snug it. You don't have to kill it. Because these these uh nuts i mean screws or bolts they have a, a um in the back it has a copper washer that when you squeeze it it makes a good seal that's it all right that's it now we go to the easy part adding the oil oh i'm not getting too old for this that's why i gotta teach these kids how to do this so far they wash the car they cut the grass and now you know how to change the oil all right so now we need a funnel so that's what you do you got to teach your kids how to change the oil cut the grass wash the cars everything so they could do it all right so we got the funnel and then the funnel the funnel go right here where you're where i took off the cap from okay this is a good thing about the jeep you go do this uh, let me see how far we're gonna go back let's just That's a good thing about the Jeep. So like that, we have more uh, excess room. Ooh, yeah. We can actually take the engine out. Anybody want to take the engine out of the Jeep? Me. All right, so I'm gonna do this because it's kind of heavy. Okay, grab this. So we bought the oil. This is the new style oil. Oh, by the way, make sure you read your manual. Uh, what, um, you know, the oil gauge. So you got that there. And we're gonna go ahead and pour the oil. I'm gonna do this because it's kind of heavy. And if you do this wrong, you're gonna get oil over the list. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Let me get up here. All right. So that's what you do. Put it in there, and you drip, baby, drip. It's pretty easy. Now pull it back. So I'm doing this because I don't want to get oil all over the place. But at least he gets the idea. Yeah, the oil is really light. Yeah, you see the difference? This one's like gold color and the oil we took out was like dark chocolate. Yeah. So that's a big, big, big difference. And, and, uh, and it's good because this Jeep, also read your manual for, the Jeep is six quarts. So this is already this new canister. It comes in six quarts. So I'm going to put it all the way in. So it's Ooh. pretty easy. Pretty easy, man. Put it in, let it drip, 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 drip. So, got that part done. Now, the good thing is now, we're gonna use this to put the old oil in and take it back to the store. All right, so, let me drip, drip, drip. Drip, drip, drip. Put this Close your oil thing. Now what I like doing is, where's my keys? I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Jeep on to get the engine, I mean the oil flowing. What does the oil level say? Nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and oh, measure. Oh, that's a steering. Now we're gonna go ahead and measure the oil, make sure everything is fine. But this thing go all the way to the bottom? Yeah, this thing actually it reads the level all the way in that pan that we were down there. Yep. Okay, and it's perfect. That's it. So. So that's how you do it. So I'm gonna go, you know, he did it halfway. Maybe next time he'll do it all by himself. So, okay, now go ahead, let's put the cover back on the engine. Oh, you guys see there's two clips there? It goes right there. That this, these things say so sit on those clips there. You add it in? I push it? That's it, that's it. Then you push it that hard. 
that's it and that's high oh tighten them i'm sure the cap all right now go ahead get the hood get the hood get the hood put the stick back oh no wait hold on forgot to put the the clip on the okay put it back down slowly you don't have to throw it because this one it just sits in there this is what actually locks no more cars you gotta throw it and it clicks on but this one we just do this we just do this you got it yep so that's it that's how you change the oil on the jeep so yeah that's one of the reasons why on the weekends i prefer to be on the boat because if i'm home it's gonna be working so now we're gonna go ahead and uh i bought fresco new bed or new mattress and now uh, we're gonna go ahead and load up the old one that we have here we're gonna go ahead and take it to the garbage dump because big mama is at the store buying christmas stuff gabby's at cheerleading fresco is doing some oh acting class so it's just me and joel here at the house so we got no other choice but to work so, julie got out again boy he's a skate artist i guess julie wants to go on the boat too right julie you want to go on the boat boy julie. You want to go on the boat? Yeah, Yuli wants to go on the boat. You see, that's why he's out here. He's, he's like me. He's used to be in the weekend on the boat. But it's okay. We're going to go on the boat tomorrow. So let's go load up the stuff on the truck and uh, go to the garbage dump. So that's it. We're going to go ahead and uh, take that to the garbage dump and then stop at that... Uh, Auto parts storage and dump up the oil. You guys notice something cool on my truck? Huh? Look at that cool thing right there. You see it right there? All right. Thank you guys for those people that actually ordered the sticker. You can order them at frescochannel.com. And I like to thank those people who already purchased them, put them on their cars, and send the picture over to me on Instagram, on Fresco, uh, Fresco Channel on Instagram too. And I post you guys up. You know, thank you guys. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, for the support. Uh, it's a pretty cool sticker, actually. I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. There's two sizes. There's a big one, and there's a little one. And those people don't want to don't wanna purchase none, but want to help, you know, you, all you got to do is go ahead and share the videos. All right, so this is just uh, a Saturday here at the house, and now we're going to go ahead to the garbage dump. But I got to look for you. Or maybe go hit lunch after that, since it's only me and him. So I guess it's a father and Sunday. And another good thing is that I love about my neighborhood, the garbage dump is like five blocks away. So that makes it very convenient. Ah. All right, so we made it back to the house. And let's go see. Let's go see what everybody's up to. All right, so. Oh, just put my. So. All right. And yes, we are all ready for Christmas. Look at that. Mm -mm. What you doing, bro? All right. Oh, by the way, kitchen's almost done. Almost? Yeah, we got 10% left. Got to do the backsplash. So there it is. A few people noticed it on the video. And then there it goes. The bar I was almost done. Missing a shelf right here. And what? What are you doing? See, while we do work and stuff, what she does, go to the store and sleep. Right? Julie, what happened? You're full of glitter? That's it. See, I should be on the boat, you know, but that's what happens when you get stuck Saturdays at the house. That's it guys. The rest now I'm just gonna watch TV. Ain't nothing else to do. Four. <laughs> no more. What? We ate Wendy's. I went back to meet on sandwich and I ate a little bit of the bottom. Oh you did? You went back to our house? 
20 miles away, ABC agent Jesse Tate needs to finish his season strong. There you go. Saturday, Netflix and chill.